Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about OpenAI's Batch API. If you are annotating a huge data set or you are running an experiment with a series of Open API calls, then OpenAI Batch API module can help you to reduce 50% of the overall cost. Let's see how it can be done. There are two different ways by which we can perform this OpenAI Batch API. The first way is fairly straightforward where we have to batch all our requests together into a JSON and file and upload it in OpenAI website, which is more manual in nature. And there's other way where we can programmatically submit all these batches using OpenAI client. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the first approach. I have already loaded the Wikipedia dataset and also created a prompt which will instruct the OpenAI model to categorize these Wikipedia articles into one among the 50 categories. Let's run this code. Now, to perform this classification task, we are not going to send the articles one by one. Instead, we are going to batch these articles together and upload it as a batch file. To do that, OpenAI provides a standard set of fields, which is custom ID. The reason for having a unique custom ID is the batching is done in a parallel manner where OpenAI will process all these records in a distributed fashion. And when we collect all these response together, the unique custom ID can help us to map these answers to the original articles. And we have to, we can set the uh, method and the URL parameter as it is. And the model is the parameter where we specify which type of model that we want to use. For example, GPT 4.0 or GPT 4 or GPT 3.5.0. Here we can specify the name. And temperature, we can vary the temperature, but for this use case, we are setting it to 0.1. And in the response format, we are we are expecting the OpenAI endpoint to have the response in a JSON format. And hence we have specified the type as JSON object. And in the messages tab, we will have two different roles. One is the system prompt. The other one is the user prompt. Let's try to populate these values for one particular example and see how it works. Let's go ahead and fetch the first 100 articles. Article sequels. So we have the data set. We're going to train. We are going to fetch the first 100 articles, so which is a text column. And let's also fetch the IVs. So data set of train. And um, it's going to be 0 to 100. And let's find the IDs one. Right. Now what we are going to do is run this. Let's check the length of articles. It should be some IDs. It's ID. Run this. The length of articles should be 100. Yes, it is. Now let's try to populate this task call. Okay. So we have to specify a unique ID here. To do that, we can use this IDs column. So if I'm going to process the first article, then it's going to be IDs of IDs of zero, right? And the method and your let's say to the default. The model that we are going to use is GPT 40 mini. Right, and the temperature is set to 0 0.1. We want the output as JSON object. Here we have to specify our system prompt and the user prompt. Right, so the system prompt is the is set of instructions that we have given. So this is category system prompt. Let's go ahead and populate it. And user prompt will be the actual article. So here in this case, article sub zero. Right, let's go ahead and print the task and see how it looks. Okay, so that this is how it looks where custom ID is set to 12 and uh, here we are specifying the model and here is the role which is system prompt. System prompt is to instruct the model to categorize this article and in the end we have the user prompt, right? So this is for one single message, but when we want to perform batching, we don't have to send the request one by one, and so we are going to group this 
messages together, right? So the next task is to create n different lines like this and batch it to a single file. Okay, now let's do this uh, task for all 100 articles. To do that, I'm going to write a for loop for index comma article in enumerate of articles. Let's do this with this is the task. Now we are going to have series of tasks. So let's create a variable called task list. And uh, every time the ID has to be unique. So it's going to be ID of index. And our model is going to be GPT for many. The system prompt is not going to change, but the user prompt has to be article. Right? So this article variable will be changing on each iteration. Right? So once we specify, once we this task is done. Let's append it to let's run this. Now let's check the length of task list. It should be 100. And each task in the task list will have a row. And here you can see this is the row where it contains the system prompt and the actual content. But when you look at the actual content, it's the entire article. And we don't have to post too many tokens into open in one. So let's do one thing. Okay, let's do a small optimization where we can cut short this article to its first paragraph. Okay, let's write a small uh, list comprehension. Say for x in articles, right? Let's do x dot split let's split it based on new line and fetch only the first paragraph in this way say that this equals paste it here now let's run this loop again and let's look at the task list now the articles are shrink to only one paragraph and we have 100 different tasks created as a list of dictionaries okay so the next step is to save this to a file now we have to append this list of tasks into a file to do that let's create a new file with open say batch api test onejsnl right let's write it in write mode save right let's create a file point now we have to write it in a JSON format. To do that, let's import JSON. Import JSON. Now we don't need this task list variable. Let's remove that. Instead, as soon as we create this dictionary, task dictionary, let's go ahead and do fp dot write of JSON dot dumps of task which will convert this dictionary into JSON format into a string and then write it to a file and it's also do fp.write of backslash in. So let's run this code and let's open the file batch api test one JSON and see how it works. Here we have the batch api test one JSON. In this file we can see each line contains a uh, JSON where we have specified the custom ID, the URL, and what model we want to use. And here is the system prompt, which we specified, which is not going to change across all the lines. And we have the user prompt in N, where the each user prompt will be a uh, article content. Right now we are good to go. Let's go ahead and upload this file to open AI. To batch process this file, move to platform.openai.com and go to the batches tab. Okay. Here we have an option called create. Click on create. Here you have two options, either to upload a new file or to select an existing file. Since we have created a new file, we have to upload it here. Click on this button. Here it's expecting the JSON and file. So click on this and we are going to upload the file which is batch api test 2.json. Okay. 
once this file is uploaded you will see there is a unique file edit which is getting created and there is a completion window if you look at this there is only one option which is 24 hours let's talk about this a bit later and there is the endpoint which is going to be our chat completion because we are going to perform a chat completion here. let's hit on create and then this is done now it's validating the file which we have uploaded in this validation process it checks a couple of things one is the format that we have uploaded should be in a proper json format with specified keys number two it should have less than 200,000 tokens 200,000 token is my tier one limit but depending on the limit we have to we have to um, restrict your total number of tokens and once the validation is passed it moves to the in progress mode here you can see in in, pro in progress mode it's 78 out of 100 and it's almost done the 24 hours time window which we were seeing in the previous uh, screen when we are uploading the file is the maximum time limit that OpenAI can take to process this file usually these files are processed pretty quickly as we were seeing in this example but sometimes if there is a peak load then the processing might take much time and hence the 24 hours time window is set now we can see the batch that we have uploaded has been completed and here it shows the status the status is completed and here is the input file which we uploaded batch api test onejsnl and here is the output file which we there is a download button once you click on it you can view this output file Let's go ahead and save this. Okay. Let's open this output file in VS Code. Okay. Now, in the output file, we will have a unique ID. And if we remember, we have set a custom ID, which is unique to our data set. Right. Now, you, you can see this is the batch API test under JSON, where we have the custom id let's scroll all the way to the left 1239293 and here we have the custom id from the output right this custom id need not be in the same order as we sent because openai performs distributed processing but it will help us to map our results back to our original data set right and you will also see a status code here it's 200 for all the rows all 100 rows if there is any failure then you will see a respective status code here right and in the body is we have the chat completion output where we have specified our model to be gpt 40 mini right and in the output you can see we wanted to categorize this article into one among those categories and here is the output for all 100 rows right it not only uses gives us the um, you know output for every single prompt that we have sent it also creates a usage parameter where you can see the total number of tokens that is consumed and this is the number of tokens which is sent in the prompt this is the completion token which is the output tokens and this is the overall tokens that is taken uh, by OpenAI. so if we sum up all the token to total tokens in this uh, file then we will know how many tokens in overall we have consumed for this particular batch and remember OpenAI charges only 50 percent of the overall uh, you know cost for this particular overall token if we sum up all the prompt tokens which is the input tokens that we have sent to OpenAI and sum up all the completion tokens which is the output tokens that we are getting out of OpenAI then we will have an estimate of how much charges that we are going to get. And if we look at OpenAI pricing, here is the OpenAI pricing, where for GPT-4 O mini, for 1 million tokens, the pricing is $0.15 for input tokens and $0.62 for the output tokens. However, here we are going to use the batch API. For batch API, you can clearly see the pricing is one half of the API pricing here we are 
getting charged only 0 0.075 dollars per million tokens for the input tokens and 0.3 dollars for output tokens right if we if we calculate the overall input tokens and output tokens and identify how much of the cost that is incurred and if we cross check with the billing here we can see a billing tab usage tab if we cross check with the amount that is being detected you can clearly see that open AI charges only 50 percent of the overall cost compared to the apn let's quickly discuss about the advantages and the disadvantages of using this open AI batching there are two major advantages the first one is the cost as we are getting charged only 50 percent of the overall cost that is going to incur if we use the api input number two we don't have to write any explicit code for batching here we are putting all our prompts together and uploading it as a single json file and opening endpoint automatically distributes these different uh, prompts and process it in a distributed fashion so we don't have to write any explicit code for batching for the disadvantages part i won't say it is a disadvantage there are, but there are two things that needs to be taken into account before using this open AI batch input. The first one is the time frame. When we upload this JSON file to the batch API endpoint, the completion window is 24 hours and there is no guarantee that the batch will be processed immediately. And hence, imagine a scenario where you want to annotate a data set and we want the result within one hour, then batch API endpoint is not a range choice. Number two, we also need to take into account of the number of tokens that we are processing. As I said before, the rate limit for tier 1 is 200,000 tokens, tokens and we always need to ensure that the batch file that we are processing has less than 200,000 tokens. Okay, let's have a quick recap of what are the things that we have done so far. In this experiment, we took 100 articles, we batched it together into a single JSON file and we uploaded the file to the opening a batch endpoint and the batch was successful and we received the result. Now, imagine we want to process 10,000 different articles. For 10,000 articles, we will we'll be having 50 different files and manually uploading all these 50 files one by one is a tedious process. That's why we have a programmatic way of solving this problem, which we are going to see in the next video. I hope the content was useful. If so, hit the like button and subscribe to channel. Thank you.